NDP is in trouble after an MP blasted Canada's part in World War I on a left-wing blog, uh, and he took a shot at the country and the soldiers, calling the war a butchery and praising communist activists. So let's get to Brigitte Pellerin in Ottawa Ooh. for more on this one, Brigitte. Good morning. What a doozy. Yeah. Um, yes, in fact, this is from an old blog post on a pretty uh, reasonably far-left uh, blog site in French, uh, in Quebec. It goes all the way back to 2007, in which NDP MP Alexandre Boulris, who is a pretty far left uh, activist and has been for many years, um, says <clears throat> things about the Battle of Vimy that uh, would uh, be surprising to uh, some NDP members to hear. Among other things, he calls that uh, particular, well, the battle, but also the war, the First World War, obviously, a war of bourgeois. <clears throat> who wanted to make even more money. I mean, the translation is a bit clunky. It sounds better in French, trust me, even though it's not so good. A purely capitalist war on the backs of the workers and peasants. He also says that the only people really who did not go and support that war with the communist activists. And he also at some point talks about the fact that the soldiers who died during that battle in Vimy uh, were uh, you know, poor wretches who had been sacrificed or butchered, if you will, to in order for uh, the Canadians to take that hill. Now, I have read this thing in the original French, and I want to say one thing in his very, very partial defense. He did not insult the soldiers. He um, criticized the war in a way that I don't agree with. Certainly his specific praising of communist activists, to my mind, is completely wrong, because if one thing about communists we know is that there were no pacifists. Uh, but other than that, his view of the war as something done on the backs of workers and peasants for you know rich people's interests is not one that is completely unheard of. I mean, other people have made that point before, and uh, this is a ba you know a, a battle that is ongoing about the significance of the war. But still, I mean, this is a blog post that certainly has gotten a lot of people's attention, and it also stands in pretty stark contrast with the statement that was put out earlier yesterday uh, by his own leader Thomas Mulcair about the Battle of Vimy Ridge, in which, in part, he says that the Canadian soldiers tremendous bravery, st sound strategic planning and p powerful artillery support are widely credited with the success of this mission. It is a point of pride for all Canadians that our soldiers serving today are still recognized as embodying those fine qualities. So again, uh, Thomas Mulcair, when he was asked about that old blog post yesterday, referred people back to uh, that statement that he had made before the story came out about uh, the Battle of uh, Vimy that, that happened 96 years ago yesterday. Um, I think that this is a picture of Alexandre Boulris that you're seeing there. Um, Alexandre Boulris has not really uh, so far issued any comments specifically about our new story about this. If he were to do that, though, uh, my guess is that he would probably stand by his comments saying, again, uh, I did not insult the soldiers, which is true. If you read the original French, I agree with that. And uh, this is his views of the war. Now, it will remain for Thomas Mulcair to try and explain that to people in the rest of the country, for whom the Battle of Vimy Ridge really, uh, and, and understandably so, is, is a, has a special special significance when it comes to really when our country became more of its own, if you will, a grown up country. This is really, uh, you know, this is a really special moment in the history of Canada. And that kind of comment uh, certainly will rile uh, people up in the rest of the country. And this is something that Thomas Mulcair will have to deal with. Will you ever. Brigitte, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Thank you.